please don't eat me. You think because I'm a giant that I'm a man goblin cannibal? <laughs> Stephen's very different on this. I think largely to do with Ruby and his wonderful relationship with Ruby. And then he's spending so much time in her mindset, which is, you know, absolutely the most crucial part of his job at the moment is his relationship with it, with Ruby, who's never acted in a big film like this. So he, she's completely dependent on him and, and she couldn't have a better person to be leading her. He has a really wonderful way with directing children like me. I find he does it in a way that's kind and he makes sure that you understand what he's just said to you. And I think he does it in a wonderful way. The every director has their own way of doing things, but I think his way is probably the best. He's just really kind to everyone. He's just lovely. Stephen, he, he loves music. It doesn't even seem about the movie world or the film world. It's it's we're there to make music together. The combination of the number the number of historical movies I've been making that have kept me sort of fettered to history, to the accuracy of telling an historical story like Lincoln, like Bridge of Spies, and then going back to like Amistad and, and films that really are about history, Schindler's List. And then being able to escape into the world of dreams and imaginations and, and no rules. Um, uh, that's, that's, that's just, that's a dream in itself. And so that makes BFG special because it was my escape into what I think I kind of do best, which is just let my imagination run away with itself. And in that sense, this was one of the best experiences I've ever had. I'm going to call you BFG.